Okay, so for this question then, we know that Jill invests £150 in year one, so I'm just going to put one underneath there. Year two, she adds another extra £10, so that comes up to £160. Another £10 brings us up to £170 in year three. And she does this putting £10 in then up to the 20th year. So we've got to find out then how much she puts in year 10. Well, when we add a constant value, this is an arithmetic progression. And you should remember some formulas for arithmetic progressions. That is that in general, your first term is A, remember your second term is A plus D, third term is A plus 2D and so on. And can you see that the nth term okay, is given by A plus N minus 1D. So you've got to remember this formula, although in some exam boards it tends to be given in the, in the formula book. But uh, I would still suggest it's such an easy formula you could try and learn it. Okay, so using this, can we see then that for the first part, part A, we've got to find out how much Jill puts in in the 10th year. So I'll have an intro here, amount, okay, in year 10 equals, and it's going to be A, the first term, 150 plus n minus 1, well n would be 10, so you're looking at 10 minus 1, 9 times d, the common difference. And that common difference, remember, is 10. We're always putting 10 in. The gap between any consecutive terms is always that d value, 10. So 150 then plus 90, and that's going to be equal to 240. 240 pounds. Now for part B, we're asked to find out the total amount that she gives over that 20 year period. So my intro here would be the total amount given by Jill. All right, okay. So to work this out, we just need to add or find the sum of these 20 values. And again, you should know that the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic progression is going to be equal to s with a little n here, n over 2, all multiplied by twice the first term, 2a plus n minus 1d. You can actually use another formula, by the way. That one is n over 2 multiplied by the first term a plus the last term. But because we don't have the last term at the moment here, the 20th term, how much she puts in in the 20th year, I'm going to not use that formula, but this one up here. So we've got everything we need, n being 20, so we've got 20 divided by 2, n over 2, all multiplied by twice the first term, so that's going to be 2 times the 150, plus n minus 1, well n was 20, so n minus 1 is going to be 19, multiplied by d, the common difference, which is 10. And if you work that out, what you find you get is 4,900 pounds. Okay? Now for the last part, we're told that Kevin invests his money, okay, starts off with £8 and does it for, again, 20 years, but keeps putting £30 extra in. So if we're going to look at the total amount given by Kevin, let's just put a little intro in here. Total amount given by Kevin. So it's going to be equal to n over 2, 20 over 2 again, twice the first term. So he put in a pounds, okay, in the first year. 
He invested it though, or gave it to charity I should say, for 20 years. So that's going to be 20 minus 1, n minus 1, which is going to be 19. But instead of putting £10 in each time, he put £30 in. So the common difference is going to be 30. Now, if you take that as 10, multiply this bracket out, you're going to have 10 times 2a, which is going to be 20a then. And 10 times 19 times 30, well that comes to 5,700. Now we're told that Kevin then puts twice the amount that Jill has to the charity. So we can say that therefore Kevin's amount, 20A plus 5,700, must be equal to 2 times the 4,900. Okay, well that sets us up with an equation here and very easy to solve. All we've got to do is take 5,700 then from twice 4,900 and that will leave us with 20A. And that turns out to be 4,100. And then if you divide both sides by 20, A will equal 4,100 divided by 20, which is 205. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this question.